Sir, please. Um, again, a warm round of applause for uh, We are truly, truly privileged to be uh, visited by uh, Representative John Mizuno. Uh, you know, a man of his stature uh, deserves probably a better forum, a better place. And, uh, but you know, if I were to uh, entitle our forum, I think I would use the word evolution or change. This forum itself is change. You represent change. Representative Mizuno represents change. Hawaii State Legislature just uh, just been told represents change. And I thought, for once, let us be less structured. Let's have a student-friendly forum where everyone can speak their minds out. You can have you can interact with John Mizuno without uh, barriers, without titles. And truly, I, I'm so glad, you know, I, I heard all of you speak and I heard Representative John Mizuno interact with you. That is so great. It's, it's, we are truly evolving. Uh, as I said, uh, if the traditionalists had their way, this would be like in a, in a beautiful hall and with a structured program. And, and you know, and, uh, I don't know. All the formalities and rituals. But this is so so personal, so intimate, you know, so uh, so open. And I like I, I like that. I like what I saw, I like what I felt. And, um, you know, we, we talk a lot. Uh, that's why I'm so happy Representative Mizuno came to discuss with you these evolving issues. You know, we talk about overlaps, vis-a-vis -vis partnerships, and uh, GMOs, and uh, same-sex marriage. Evolving issues that uh, probably were not thought of many, many decades ago. Uh, and uh, I, I thought when we came to the discussion of overlaps and partnership, I said, truly, uh, that is an evolving issue because uh, it really depends on one's perspective. You know, see, if a traditionalist might look at that as an illegal intrusion immediately, but in the end, I agree with Representative Mizun. It's, it's really all about what's good for the people. Uh, we tend to be too structured, too legalistic, too stuck up in our, in our, in what the Pharisees, <laughs> you, you know, if, call uh, the letter of the law. But in the end, if it's good for the people, then perhaps that overlap is good, and you can call it a partnership. Maybe. A, uh, a branch of government thought that, hey, nobody has ever uh, tried this, and nobody ever thought of this, nobody has ever given attention to this, and we're going to do this for the sake of the people. We call it a partnership. It's a matter of perspective, and yet, if you don't, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's bad for the people that we can call it uh, an authorized inclusion. GMOs. Uh, we'd like to share with the president Mitsuno that there's a pending case. I think you have heard of the Talong, like the Tatong Talong GMO. Um, and our president Malayang is involved with that as a amicus curiae. And uh, it's good to follow that case. Um, you see, the, uh, why this has become a, a, um, a legal issue in, in uh, the Philippines is because of our provision constitutions yeah. where the people has a right to what? Health and a balanced ecology. And one of the uh, one of the arguments is that uh, while this may good, be good for health, because I think they're trying to put up in the market uh, or whatever, the market or whatever, the testing stage at along, which can resist pest and disease. And uh, that, that would mean uh, uh, that this kind of pest, which is part for ecology, would have been deprived of that food. And I said that. And that could affect the balance in ecology. So that's, uh, you, we still don't know the effect of these GMOs to our ecology. If it does, so maybe we need more scientific studies. And so the debate goes on and on and on. And uh, so, um, just some notes. Um, 
And so we say that, uh, and I, we keep telling you, students, that you're the key to the direction our society would take in the future. So don't be afraid of change. You should never be afraid of change. In fact, what did, I, what did we say to you? We said that uh, in the field of ideas, there is no such thing as established precedents. There is no such thing as settled jurisprudence. Nothing is ever settled. And we have heard that from Representative Rejuno. Ideas have to keep changing because circumstances keep changing. We should not be afraid of change. And I said, in the field of thinking, you should let your thing, in the field of ideas, you should let your thinking run amok. You should never be afraid of what you think. You should not be restrained. You should not say, think that, you know, this might be crazy, this might be wild, and my professor might think of me as crazy you know, or stupid or idiot. No, you know, let your thinking run amok. That has to be it, because that's where we're going. Who knows, your idea now, we think they're uh, stupid, or they're uh, what? They're uh, too wild, could actually be the right thing for the future. And so in closing, um, You know, uh, change has indeed become a way of life to a better life. And uh, it might be well for us to uh, remember the insight of uh, Abraham Lincoln when he tried to fight off the uh, almost 100 year long tradition of owning slaves, dating back to the time of Washington and Jefferson, who themselves owned slaves. What did he say? He said, uh, is looked at change directly in the eye and said uh, the dogmas of the quiet past are inadequate for the stormy present and future. Our, as our circumstances are new, we must think anew and act anew. And so we must thank Representative John Mizuno for reminding us that in the state of Hawaii and in the world, change has to be welcome. You know, we need to keep thinking and thinking and thinking for new ideas for change. Thank you very much.